Hello to all you students and staff at Valverde High School and Valverde Academy. I'm Chino, and welcome to the Nightline News Show. And I'm Jalen. This is the news show for the week, January 29th through February 2nd, 2024. And also, we're already kicking off the third quarter, so stay strong and stay persistent. Hey, Jalen, do you have any jokes for us this week? Man, use your brain. Of course I do. I'm the master of disaster. Matter of fact, I'm the funniest man alive. What's he trying to say? I'm not funny? No, nah, no, nah, man. I'm not saying any of that. You know, you're the funniest guy I know. Funniest looking. What was that? Man, I didn't say anything. I just told you that we got to kick off this new show. So let's get started with Miss Vargas. Hola, hola. Good morning. Buenos dias. My name is Miss Vargas. Hey, Knights. Good to see you again. Happy Monday. Um, I am the instructional coach here at Valverde High School and Valverde Hybrid. And so if you don't know me, welcome. Hello. Good to meet you. I'm also someone that works very closely with teachers. I'm in and out of classrooms. I'm working with them on the sides or in the background. And everything that I do is all about enhancing your experience as a student, your learning and what is happening in your brain so that it can stay there and you can learn and do great things. And part of that is CASP testing. So you might have heard of that before. It's the state testing. You've been doing it since you were in third grade. You do it third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, eighth grade. And now if you are a junior, hey juniors, what's up? Hey 11th graders, it is your turn to take the state testing. Um, and then 12th graders, if you did not take the science test as a junior, don't worry, we got a little test for you too. So mark your calendars, here we go. You see this calendar right here? Mark your calendars, it's coming. April 23rd, 24th, 25th. So those three days, we're starting with English, then math, and then the last day, science. So why are we talking about testing in April and it's like barely January? Well, it's gonna take time for us to prepare, for us to do our very best. Y échale ganas, que tú puedes, of course you can. Don't have low expectations of yourself. We have extremely high expectations of you. And we know that with a little bit of practice and prep, you can do your absolute best and put our school on the map. So with that said, every week I'm gonna come to you live and we're gonna have a little competition. All right? You hear me out there, advisory classes? A competition to see what class can answer the cast question of the week and be the first class to submit the correct answer and be the fastest at it. So with that said, just know that every week, we will, I'll be coming to you here, presenting a question. You will then, as an advisory class, work together to submit the fastest that you can and the correct answer on a Google form that your teachers have. So you're gonna have to look closely, look at the question, read it, answer it, hit submit, and the first class with the correct answer gets the prize. Okay, so I'll be coming around classes every week to give you guys some kind of prize for our winning class. So with that, I can't wait for you all to participate. Good luck, have a great week, and let's get after it, Knights. Thank you, Ms. Vargas. Hey students, Ms. Lacey, our school librarian, would like to remind you that the library has 3D printing, and it's free for students. You can make gifts for friends, teachers, and even for yourself. In order to do this, join the Tinkercad class and enter this class code. Damn! To get more information, please see Miss Lacey in our school library. Now, here's Mr. Sievers with some more school news for us. Hey Knights, this is Sievers here. Guys, I want to thank you for being safe in inclement weather. We had a lot of rain last week. This week looks to be nicer. It's going to warm up a little bit. But always be aware that we're in that season now where it can get wet and slippery. Don't want you guys having to run or hustle at the last minute. You have done an excellent job getting to class. Let's keep up that strong work and continue with that. Um, just want to remind you that, you know, when we, we are continually doing sweeps, uh, the first offense is going to be a lunch detention. And after that, it progresses. I don't want to do that. And so I work and try to be out there and be diligent with it. But if in the event I'm not there, you should still do what's right, even when I'm not around or just because it's the right thing to do. Be on time to classes. Seniors, I have 
have been pulling seniors, uh, in particular ones that are close to being 18, and talking to you about getting graduated. That is our goal. We've got to get you graduated, man. We need you to pass classes, and we're working on a plan. We'll be scheduling meetings with your parent and the counselor to make sure we are on board for that. Please make sure that we're doing everything we can to get caught up. And if you need help, come to my office. I have some teachers that will help you with tutoring, whatever it is we need to do to get you across the finish line. Um, if you're struggling academically and you need help with understanding, I have a teacher that will help with that. Mrs. Whitmer is help, helpful with that, Ms. Vargas, and um, I'll find someone that can help you get across that finish line. And then uh, community service. Make sure that we're getting our community service taken care of. It is 10 hours. We are some, quite a few on the March grad list. Make sure we get that taken care of. See my office as well if you need opportunities for um, community service. It has to be a um, you know charity event. It can't be a it has to be a nonprofit uh, place that you do the work at or do your hours, not a profit per, you know, place of business or babysitting or things like that. So see us if you need clarification. And then lastly, uh, we need to tighten up that restroom. You need to be, get in and get out. Um, don't have that be the reason you're there, you're a tardy to class. Um, I just want to remind everyone that we operate under reasonable suspicion here. That's our ed code guide. We operate under ed code. That's the laws that govern a school. Reasonable suspicion, it means that you're doing something we think is suspicious. We have to search you because we need to make sure you're not suspicious. So don't put yourself in that situation and we won't have any issues. Don't have a bunch of people in the restroom or more than one person in a stall. I know that's disgusting, but that's going to get you searched. And so make sure you stay out of the restroom and get out of there as quickly as possible. And that's all I have. Keep up that grind. You're doing great. And let's have a great week. Thank you, Mr. Sievers. Now, BSU and you boy are hosting a field trip to go see Schoolyard Rap for Black History Month, as well as going to LA for a Black College Expo on February 5th. Both are district-wide events and are trying to get students to sign up. Students can come to room 203 or room 205 to get permission slips. Permission slips are due Wednesday for the Schoolyard Rap, and permission slips are due Friday for the College Expo. Val students will be going out the 415 showing for the Schoolyard Rap. So now, let's go to Coach Martin, who is going to give us a piece of his mind. We are back. It's the new year. Wow. And not only are we back, it is going to be fast. How fast is it? Well, listen to this. You got President's Day coming up. You got George Washington's birthday coming up. Then you got spring break coming up. Then you got testing coming up. And all that put together is huge, huge days off. Seniors, if you're going to blink, it's going to be past you. And let's talk about not blinking. You have FAFSA. That is due on February the 16th. That's right, February 16th, that's a Friday. They want your FAFSA turned in. Why don't you want that money? What are you gonna do? Use it for trade school, use it for college, use it for junior college. Figure it out, use it. And talking about using it, we're gonna be using that basketball court. That's right, it is basketball season. We have two games this week. And let's see what Val Verde is going to do. Last year, we took it up to the semifinals. Let's see if we can improve upon that. Okay, for me, Coach Martin, we're gonna be out of here. Oh, wait a second, Coach. Soccer, you didn't mention soccer. Oh, soccer, that starts in March. So if you're interested in playing for, in playing for the Valverde soccer team, let's get ourselves going, start training for yourself. But right now, it's basketball season. Hey, I wanna come back out. Come on out, we'll see what you got. Show me, we'll see how that's practice. Practices are from 2.30 to 3.15. We'll see you there. Listen, we're gone, and have a great, great week. Seniors, don't blink, it's gonna go fast. Talk to you later. Thank you, coach. Hey students, do you need a job? Reminder if you do, Mr. Mohammed has a list of jobs in the Moreno Valley, Paris, and Riverside area. If you would like to find out more information, please see him in room 302. Now, here's Ms. Vargas, who has this week's cast question. Okay, you ready? Here we go, first question, Remember, this is a competition, so listen carefully. You are competing together as an advisory class. Teachers, if you'd like to pull this up in your classroom right now, we'll go to your email, I've already shared it with you. Pull it up on your screen so you can see it better. And again, the first class to submit the correct answer wins. So here you go, here's the question. Now let me let you know first what this question is asking. Here it says the student will identify and or edit for correct use of a semicolon to link two or more closely related independent clauses. So are you ready? Here we go, some punctuation. Okay, 
Question, a, a student is writing a report for class about her favorite sport. Select two sentences that are correctly punctuated. A, basketball is fun as exciting to play, but it takes hard work and dedication to develop the necessary skills to become the star player. B, to be a good basketball player, a person must be in good condition. Basketball requires a great deal of running up and down the length of the court. C. Having one really good player on the basketball team is great. However, basketball is a team sport that requires each person to perform his or her role. D. Only five players from each team can be on the court at the same time during a basketball game. Other sports, such as football and soccer, allow more players to be on the field. E. A high school basketball game consists of four quarters and two halves separated by halftime, with players usually going to their locker rooms so the coaches can go over plays for the second half. And finally, F. Learning to dribble the ball, using the correct form to shoot the ball, and making sure one makes good passes are all important skills. Players must practice these skills a great deal if a team is going to win. So there I have it, there's your question. And remember, the question says, select two sentences that are correctly punctuated. Good luck, Knights. Thank you, Ms. Vargas. On this week's advisory, we'll have a special broadcast that Ms. Vargas will tell us the answer for this week's cast question. The broadcast will start at 10.05 sharp. Now here's a reminder that upcoming Makeup Picture Day is scheduled for Thursday, February 1st. The students make sure to participate as these photos will be included in this yearbook and used for the school's IDs. And make sure you're dressed to impress. So, make sure you wear your best attire. Additionally, on this day, February 1st, any seniors who have not taken your picture in the cap and gowns, please schedule your appointment ASAP. There is limited appointments available, so prompt scheduling is advised on a first come, first serve basis. Now, here's Mr. Doe with some more school news for us. Happy Monday, Knights and Centurions. Mrs. Dado here. I have a couple short announcements for you this week. First things first, I really wanna congratulate all the students that we recognized last week at our honor roll. Keep it up, make sure that you are maintaining those high GPAs. It means you're handling business and doing what you're supposed to do. Students, I wanna remind you, especially for those of you that are new, we move fast here. Quarters are only nine weeks long, you don't have a lot of time. If you start missing work, if that grade starts dropping, progress reports are coming out in just two short weeks. So you really have to consider that. Progress reports going home to parents. They're going to see how you're doing. Make sure that you're handling business, keeping those grades up, passing all classes. And if you're one of our students that's in credit recovery, please make sure that you are staying every Tuesday, Thursday after school. It's important. As soon as you finish the course, you no longer have to attend. So we wanna see you there every Tuesday, Thursday after school. That's all I have. Have a great week. Now here's the funniest <clears throat> looking um, man around with his joke of the week, Jalen. I'm back and I'm better and I'm blacker than ever. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I know you guys all missed the joke of the week. So with that being said, here's your favorite comedy master, the one and only Jalen. Thank you. Let's get to the first joke. What happened to the cow? It got moved into a cheeseburger. <laughs> that was funny, right? Okay, now, next joke. How many emos did it take to screw in the light bulb? None, because they all sit in the dark. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's it for you guys' joke of the week. I'll see you nights all next time. Peace. <laughs> hey, bro. I told you I'm the legend. I'm the funniest man alive. Man, I guess you sure are funny. Funny looking. <clears throat> hey, bro. I heard you just Bro, I didn't say anything. I don't know what just happened. But that's it for this new show. Make sure you watch it on Val's YouTube channel and please subscribe at VVUS Dean Team Vision. Well, I'm Jalen, and um, there's no Chino. Until next week, Nights and Centurions, same night time. I'm Chino, and to the same night channel. Goodbye. Bye.